it's not easy to quiet an active mind sometimes you sit for a full 30 minutes before you actually manage to quiet your mind and we teach the way to meditate is by feeling for a vibration or listening for a vibration we wouldn't do mantras we wouldn't be trying to create during meditation the whole point of meditation if we were standing or sitting or lying in your physical body would be to focus upon something like breathing or like the dripping of a faucet just focus upon something so simple and so steady and so consistent and we would just say to our mind I know you have the ability to focus focus on that and when our mind would wander and it will we would bring it back to that and bring it back to that and bring it back to that and bring it back to that until before you know it you would begin to feel a detachment from your physical environment and the reason that you would begin to feel a detachment from your physical environment is because you are tuning into your inner world where there is not sight and there is not sound and there is not smell and there is not taste and there is not touch there's just a gentle feeling of well-being and we would just rest with that and then if we are tempted to turn our attention to the well-being that we are feeling we would even withdraw from that thought I don't even want to think about the well-being that I'm feeling I just want to sit here in this sort of nothingness in this pure slate I just want to get back to the core of who I am to the goodness of who I am to the perfection of who I am to the simplicity of who I am I want to start my building from that place understanding that law of attraction will then add to that and add to that and add to that because when you start pure what comes it is our promise to you it will move into exhilaration but exhilaration without resistance is really what high flying is about you see that's where the inspiration comes that's where the music comes from that's where the lyrics comes from that's where the passion comes from that's where the orgasm comes from Uh, I will try to see if I can go to, to, to the next level without losing the nothingness. I really love that. I think my biggest challenge now, in life is to be simple. Understand, we're not stay wanting to, you to reduce yourself to nothingness and stay there forever. We just want you to do it for 10 or 15 minutes every morning to sort of set the tone for the day. And then in an exercise or two or three during the day, just go to the general place of feelings like love and well-being or even fun. But we just want you to stabilize first and then fly and stabilize first and then fly and stabilize first. You can do this, you see. And the way we're describing it here sounds like one thing, but in real life, it's something else altogether, isn't it? In real life, you wake up and one of your kids is in a bad mood or you wake up and you get a phone call or you get an email or something's off or you come on stage and the lights aren't the way you've practiced them for a couple of hours a day before. In other words, there's all kinds of things that happen that take you back. The question is, what do you do next? how fast do you find your recovery and your recovery from life is completely contingent upon how much basic general finding that core vibration that you've been doing because if you've got that to fall back on then as life touches you in those uncomfortable ways you can reach and find the stable vibration much more quickly you see we don't want you to meditate all the time we don't want you to meditate more than about 15 or 20 minutes in a day if you knew how much you wanted to be in these bodies you would not be trying to get out of these bodies but surely there's got to be something somewhere between discord and nothingness and we believe that if you start with as close to nothingness as you can and build outward that instead of having discord you'll have discord you say Thank you.